Thanksgiving is just around the corner, and that means food. A lot of food. But this gluttonous holiday does not have to completely derail your progress. All you have to do is replace your Thanksgiving dinner with 6 to 12 glasses of hot water, cayenne pepper, and maple syrup. I'm kidding. Here's the deal. I'm not going to tell you you shouldn't enjoy your favorite Thanksgiving dishes. You should. Holidays are good for the soul. But I do have some tips for those of you who want to help make your feast a little healthier or at least avoid an uncomfortable food coma on the couch for the rest of the night. I'm giving you options so you can eat the foods you love while at the same time making healthy-ish decisions that will keep you on the path towards your goal. To start, choose veggies first. I like to encourage everyone to fill up on crudite, but it really doesn't matter whether it's the appetizer of fresh vegetables or the non-starchy side dishes you're going for. Either way, eating veggies first is going to help take the edge off your appetite and it'll fill you up faster. Doing that's going to help prevent you from going crazy with the unhealthy foods that's yet to come. And if you're looking for impressive dish ideas, there is an abundance of fresh seasonal produce available. Winter squashes like butternut, kabocha, and delicata, leafy greens like collard greens and Swiss chard, root vegetables like turnips, beets, carrots, parsnips, pumpkins, apples, pears, cranberries, and pomegranates, and so much more. These vegetables taste amazing and they can be prepared easily. Next, let your plate control your portions. Research shows that eating off a smaller plate tricks your brain into thinking it's eating more. The smaller plate makes the food look larger by comparison, and it'll actually help you eat up to 30% less. If you have a problem getting all the foods you like onto one plate, start by cutting your portions in half. If you're still hungry, you can go back for seconds, but chances are you won't even need to. If you're anything like me, oftentimes your eyes are bigger than your stomach, so think of every portion as a sample of the dish. Choose wisely. Pick the foods that make your taste buds swoon rather than just piling your plate full of ordinary foods. I know that Thanksgiving often provides an endless amount of food and it definitely can be tempting to want to dig into every dish, but chances are a lot of it is going to be food that you can get any other day of the year. Opt for the dishes you rarely get to eat. That means something to you. If you've been waiting all year for stuffing or pumpkin pie, then enjoy those holiday favorites, but leave the common dishes for the other guests. Eat what you love and leave what you like. Make sure to watch what you drink, and this comes in two parts. First, make sure you're drinking plenty of water. There's a part of your brain called the hypothalamus, and it processes your body's hunger and its thirst. So it's not uncommon for someone who is thirsty to feel like they're hungry when they may not be. Staying well hydrated throughout the day is a good way to help your body know when you're actually full. Part two of this tip is making sure you have a handle on your alcohol consumption. I've talked about drinking your calories in previous videos, but I always need to stress this around the holidays. I guess it's something about being around the entire family that just makes you want to reach for the bottle. <laughs> Alcohol and sugar mixtures like soda or juice can really start to add up. So when it comes to booze, smarter choices are things like red wine or champagne. You can drink them straight, or you can mix in a little sparkling water for sort of a mocktail. An alcohol-free version features sparkling water with a little splash of juice garnished with a slice of fresh fruit. Remember that Thanksgiving comes but once a year. The truth is a single indulgent meal isn't going to make you gain a tremendous amount of weight and it probably won't ruin your long-term goals as long as you return to eating sensibly again. But if you turn what should be a one-day feast into a week-long binge, your body will gain a notable amount of weight. So enjoy your delicious meal but let everyone else take home the leftovers. And finally, lose the guilt. Holidays are a time for celebration and relaxation, so don't feel bad about enjoying the indulgence. Do, however, get back into your healthy habits the very next day. Remember this, while food is a large part of Thanksgiving, it's not the only reason for the holiday. Be grateful for the things in your life and enjoy the company of family and friends that you choose to surround yourself with. In fact, they can oftentimes be a great distraction from overeating. Bonus tip, run a turkey trot. 
If you're up for the challenge, these races take place the morning of Thanksgiving and they can range from just one mile to 10K. Sign up and add crossing the finish line to your holiday to-do list. Now go forth and eat deliciously and maybe abundantly, but keep your health and your goals in mind. Oh, and comment below and tell me what your favorite Thanksgiving dish is. Extra points if it's vegan. And if you haven't yet, be sure to click the like button on this video and subscribe to keep up with all the health, nutrition, and fitness videos that I put up each week. Thanks for watching. Stay motivated. I'll see you next time. <laughs> Fill up on crudite. But it really doesn't matter. Ma oh, I can't even say it. Matter weather. I just spit. Filing your, fi your plate. Flate? How do I do this so much? Fill up on crudite, 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 crudite. That would have been great if I hadn't spit.